scan line algorithm using the QGIS API. So for the scan line algorithm, we are going to implement this for filling the polygon. So first I am showing you how we are to implement and how we are going to represent it. So this will be the output screen where we have implemented using the QGIS creator. There is a text label on the left hand side and uh, two push buttons, one is for the select color that is chosen for the color palette and one is for the filling color. The first one select color push button is going to use for the selecting the color and the second push button that is the fill color is going to use the for filling the polygon. On this fill color we have implemented the scan line algorithm. So I am going to select any color. Right now it is taking as a default color which is I have given in the algorithm. So while clicking, while using the mouse the left click and just click here. So I have got the line. So this line is drawn with the help of the left click event and while we have used the right button of the mouse, it is going to make a closed loop of a polygon in this way and then we have to use the fill color. So it is going to fill the color. Okay. Right now it is taking too much time for filling the color. So before that I will try to explain here how we are going to implement it. Okay. I am going to stop that. I will explain you how we are going to work and again I am going to run it. No issue. Okay, so we have created the push button on the UI form. This is the UI form you can see here. On this UI form, we are having a text label. On the right hand side, we have given the coordinates x and y is equal to comma 0 and the width and height is given 500 comma 500. And for the scan line, we have used the two push buttons. First one is for the selecting the color. And second one is for filling the color. Okay, so while we are using the push button, we have to click on the right mouse event and go to the slot. We will get a automatic declaration of that push button on the CPG file. So here we can give the definition about the push button, and for the same on the header page, we will get the declaration of the push button. Okay, you can see here there is a push button in the private slot. This is the first push button and the second push button. And this is the function which is written for the DDA line button. Okay. So we have used the DDA so many times for the implementation. The next one is we are going to use the mouse press event for drawing the line segment. Uh, right now I have shown you while the running the program that we have drawn the line segment using the mouse press event. So we have to make a function uh, with the name of mouse press event, Q mouse event with the pointer of event. So this is all we have given here, uh, all the uh, uh, declaration we have done so for the function and we have to give the definition at this main window.cpg and after this I have given all the variables which we are going to use arrays and variables in the private slot. In count for the counting purpose, count here the, the variable is going to be used for the uh, particular next point. Okay. Boolean start in A100, B100, voltage I, X of I20, J temp. Temp is used here for the temporary variable, slope, slope of 20, del X and del Y. This all are the variables which we are going to use in the particular program we have declared here. Now proceeding towards the main window.cpg. So first of all what we have to do, we have to define here the uh, output screen that is the resolution of 500 cross 500. Okay, and it is going to be used for the RGB 8,8,8 okay, framework. And Q color, color here we are going to use for the combination of 255 plus 255, 255, the combination of all those colors. Now we are using starting of the program and we have given count equals to 0, declared here as a 0. Now we have used the delay function here for the delay purpose that it uh, should fill the color in a proper way and in a 
smaller part that it should take time for the filling the color. So we have we can leave otherwise we can keep it. Mostly. So first of all I am going to explain you about the mouse press event. Mouse press event that means we have to do the implementation or we have to draw the line segment using the mouse press event. In the mouse press event, we are going to start it and we have taken the two variables that is E2 and Q. At this, if we are going to click at the one position, so we are uh, we are will get X position and Y position for a particular point, that is the coordinate. And we are going to store that coordinate into array A of count and B of count. Now, if the condition is true, that means the left click event, then what we have to do, the count will be greater than zero. Simple here, if I am going to use here, if I am going to click here, this is the line segment, this is the first one that is a P and Q and this is the next position that is X2 and Y2, okay, and we are going to store this particular po uh, positions into the particular uh, array, so we have given here, okay, so we have count is greater than 0. So we have to call the line function that is the DDA function which we have given already here. A of count, B of count that is the initial position. Suppose we have started from 100 comma 100 and we have given the next location that is 200 comma 200. <coughs> so the line is going to draw from 100 comma 100 to 200 comma 200. Okay. So the same thing we have drawn the boundary in the two formation. We have uh, drawn the boundary in the broad way. Yeah. So in the next way, okay. So in uh, here, if it's uh, it is for the left clicking event, and we are going to do it for the count plus plus, okay. Okay, and if we want to do the close loop for the mouse press event, we have to click on the right push button. So in the right button, right click event of the mouse then it is going to call us the count minus 1 that is the last coordinate of the line segment of any polygon and it is going to consider the initial position as the next position of the coordinate. So it is going to create the close loop. Simple. So in this way we have to, uh, we will get the polygon in a closed loop format and this is the false condition and finally we have created the polygon. This is about the mouse press event. This is the DDA function we have already studied about the DDA that means we are going to draw the line segment with the help of the DDA line algorithm in which del x del y we have to calculate and other we have to calculate the length and then we have to perform the increment. So this is all those things and we will we are getting this particular color by default because I have given here the by default color for the line drawing. You can uh, use the color.rgb function for using the different color from the color palette. Okay. And this line is used for the implementation on the output screen. Now, next one is R, that is uh, push button. The first push button for the selection of the color palette, that is color, and we have to use Q color di uh, dialog for resolution of get color, that is used for the color palette. And the next push button is going to use for the scan line algorithm. So this is the important algorithm which we are going to discuss about it. Here I have used A of count, B of count, that is x-axis and y-axis. Here we have initialized with the 0 and 0. Now we have to complete this particular loop. So we have to calculate del x and del y for the line segment. If we have to choose 100, 100 to 200, 200, then we have to calculate the slope of the line segment. For the same, we have to calculate del x and del y. So we have calculated del x, b of i plus 1 minus b of i. That means the x, uh, sorry, y2 minus of y1. Del x is x2 minus of x1. So if the del y is 0, uh, dot 0 or close, then the slope is going to be considered as a 1. If the del x is 0, the slope is 0. If both the slope, both the del x and del y is not 0, then we have to calculate the inverse of the slope, okay? Because as per the scanline algorithm, we have to calculate the values as per the slope, inverse of the slope. So we have considered here the inverse of the slope, okay? Now, what we are going to perform here, 
as per the particular thing we are performing the scan line algorithm okay scan line that means with respect to the y axis so we are performing with respect to the y axis that is 0 1 2 3 4 5 so in that case we are we are getting the y value of the y is constant then we have to calculate the value of the x okay so while we are calculating the value of x we have to first of all find out whether we are performing the scan line with respect to that particular y coordinate only so we are calculating here d of i is the coordinate of the line segment initial and d of i plus 1 is the last coordinate okay and y is the with respect to the scan line okay for example d of i is 100 d of i i plus 1 is 200 and y here we are scanning y is the coordinate that is uh, 101 or 102 so that is lying in between the range okay if it is okay then we have to calculate the x coordinate clear so while we are calculating the x coordinate here we have to calculate the a of i that is the 100 plus slope of i we have calculated the inverse of slope multiply by minus of d of i because 101 line we are going to scan for example y coordinate is and d of i is 100 then we are getting the 1 multiply by inverse of slope and we are going to add with the a of i and it is going to scan the complete line and it is going to draw with the help of the ada line segment clear yeah. sometimes while we are performing the calculations we get the value in the uh, swapping form for example 4 comma 2 and 2 comma 2 we got like this so we cannot implement 4 comma 2 before the 2 comma 2 so we have to implement 2 comma 2 then 3 comma 2 then 4 comma 2 in this way so we have to perform the swapping function after this we have called here the delay function as well as the line coordinate that is x of i by x of i i plus 1 and y because we have calculated this values from this coordinate so after this we have completed the scan line algorithm okay again i will try to run this because you know due to the slow execution it is not telling the color right now okay so i'll try so hopefully you have understood about this cancel algorithm so hopefully you have understood this cancel algorithm if still you are facing any doubt or uh, issues while implementing you can have the question Sometimes it takes a little bit longer time for the uh, in the project. I'm so sorry. Okay. And it is showing the error while filling the color, so it is going to fill the color in the proper way. Right now it is not filling. You can try by yourself. Thank you so much for your